Yeah, they just put channel on. Yeah, I'm saying on channel for Secretary VBA. Thank you for the invitation. It is a great honor and a pleasure for me to stay with you. When we, myself and my colleagues, in the German Parliament in the year 2000 introduced the Renewable Energy Act, we were hopeful. <coughs> but renewable energy is in this time very expensive and on a very low level, would come to a big industry and help to solve the problems of the world. Now, I stay here and I see the development of the renewable industry, wind power as well as solar power, bioenergy, geothermal, hydropower, and ocean energy, all together are important. And I'm very happy about the situation when I was a member of the German parliament. I had a lot of meetings with the Chinese government on minister and parliament level, and I spoke every time with them to develop laws for renewable <laughs> energies, and China adopted it and made a huge industry for them. Thank you, China, for this contribution to the world. And it is really decisive to go it. We had in the year 2000 in Germany the few to the, <coughs> to the big challenges, what we fear of today more than in this time. Challenges, we wanted to have peace. And we saw that a lot of wars are coming over the resources, oil and gas, and we could see solar radiation and wind we cannot fight for. It is a solution for peace. Another challenge is healthcare. We see 20 million die every year on the world with air pollution. It comes from combustion engines with oil and gas, with coal power stations, gas power stations, and others they pollute the air and make diseases to the people. We want to have clean air. But the most decisive challenge is climate warming. The world today is already far too hot with 1.6 degrees, and we see a lot of disasters. UN General Secretary Antonio Guterres warns us nearly daily the world is on the way to climate hell. And he is right. Here, one of the plenty disasters for River Delta, extreme weather last year. Plenty of people died today in Sumatra and other places from the world. We have to cool down the earth, not accept global warming. That must be the target. It was wonderful. I could see Leonardo DiCaprio in 2017 in Shanghai, presentation new BID cars, and he sent the message, global cooling by Verde Free. <laughs> That's what we should all adopt. But the question is how to go with. We see the emissions, what we wanted to reduce with the Paris Agreement. The emissions of greenhouse gases, carbon dioxide, methane and others increased every year since Paris Agreement. And now we have a much too high concentration of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, 425 parts per million carbon dioxide. The safe human border is 350 parts per million. We have already too much. And therefore, to pull down the earth can and must be combined only with decreasing the concentration of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. And the question is how to do that. We see on the red area the emissions of humankind to the atmosphere, much too high. First is 
We have come down, we must come down to zero with the emissions in very few decades. And the parallel strategy is take out the carbon from the atmosphere in a few decades. But no one knows how to organize it. Therefore, we want to create a scientific no. modeling for the Earth how we can we get down under 350 parts per million carbon dioxide? We know the three pillars that are important. First, stop all emissions means come to 100% renewables because oil, gas and coal pollutes the 60% share of all emissions in the atmosphere completely cancel oil, gas and coal use with 100% renewables. But not only in the energy sector, even in the material sector, we need a circular economy without any emissions, without any waste. And to take out carbon from the atmosphere, we have to use the plants. Regenerative agriculture, forestry and marine economy. We want to find this modeling when you can help us to find the solution for the world. Please tell it to me. We have to finance universities and I would be happy when Chinese universities would follow that. In renewables, the world is on a good way. We see the renewable global investment increase year by year. That's a good point. And we see within the renewable solar and wind plays the main role. And last year we had even a new investment into energy system, more than 90% only renewable investment. Only 4% comes from fossil energy. We have to cancel that completely. And renewables have to replace the existing power of heating and transport energy. It is possible. We have to accelerate this way. And it is not only generation of the energy. We have also looked to the consumption technologies. This is transport sector, building sector, heating sector. We need grids. And the world is on a good way for this expansion for clean technologies, but as the arena shows us, we are not even on the path with dribbling renewables by 2030. We have to accelerate it. At the moment, the investment in the world into renewable energies is not everywhere on every place. Most decisive is China. 40% of all renewable investment globally comes from China. Thank you again, China, for this. It is important. China can lead the world for that. And the success of this strategy is now renewable energies are the cheapest option for energy creation ever in the world. Wind power and solar power, even with batteries, to balance the fluctuation is cheaper than coal, than gas and nuclear. The polluting system. And China has also a new energy transformation outlook published last week. I could see it. And we see the decreasing of the China final energy consumption is coming with the switching to renewable energy to electricity system. Wind power and solar power is high efficient because they have no heat waste like combustion engines and coal power, gas power stations. Therefore, the switch to electricity is decisive. And within the increase of electricity production, solar and wind plays a most decisive role. 
China is on the good way. The only task for you and the rest of the world is to accelerate it, to come earlier than 2060 to climate neutrality. And we have the possibility because the increasing rates what we have today are fast enough. We can compare, compare it with Germany. Germany was, beginning with the renewable in act in Germany, the leading nations for renewable development. We had increasing rates very fast. But since 2012, about the increasing rates were declined. And though Germany has now only 60% renewable energy share in the electricity sector, we could have had when we would went on with the increasing rates what we had in the earlier years, 100% renewable electricity today. But when I discuss it in Germany, most people tell to me, oh, it is impossible to go on with such high yearly increasing rate. Then I show them China. The wind power increasing rates, blue line is Germany and China is the red one. You show how fast we can increase. And then China example is adopted globally, we have a chance to come much faster. But 100% renewables to achieve is one pillar. Second pillar is circular economy. How can we come to a green economy in material system? We have to replace steel and Britain, they are high polluting the climate by nature materials. Here an example from the wind power system, an Austrian company, Hasselacher, creates new wooden wind turbine towers. It is possible even for 7 megawatt and 200 meters up eight. We should go this way on onshore wind, offshore wind, it's not so easy. But we have also the rotor blades with carbon fibers, and the carbon is mostly based on oil and gas. We have to replace it with new nature materials, and we have the possibility. Look to the reforestation. It takes a lot of wood. China is leading the world even in regreening. I met Dr. Chen Cohen, the father of Gobi Greening, and he created in the desert of Gobi an area as big as Germany, regreened by trees. There we have a lot of wood to bring it to building systems, to towers and others. But how to go to replace the material system? We have the possibilities to go to the sea. Marco Agea grows that can take out huge amounts of the atmosphere when we go in a controlled way and make new materials from it. All is based on gas and coal we could replace by Marco Agea's wood and plants and others. And we have the first example in Netherlands. There is an offshore wind farm, and then the sea area, they produce algaeas, and they can take out it and use it as new materials, even for the wind power material goes. Amazon is financing it. That's the strategy what we have to do. Then we have this chance to save the world, to come to down under 350 parts per million, and your global cooling strategy. When you are interested for this strategy, please ask me to help us finance the research, how to find this way with the Holocene project, and go on with your wonderful increasing of the technologies in wind and solar and other clean technologies in China. Thank you for your attention.